Bulgari. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Kantari. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Uh, I've finished most of the coffee, as you could probably tell. Ayish, wearing the Bulgari uh, Diagonal Scuba. <laughs> because I'm going to Rolex ADs. Look the part, act the part. That's my <laughs> that's my approach. Put on some dress shoes, buy uh, one of my better polos, <laughs> and a bulgari. Uh, this is the bulgari blue dial, which is kind of like a steel blue or a grayish blue. I think they call it navy. And I don't know, mixing it up. Wanted to wear the watch, took it in a little while ago. And actually another one of these just popped on eBay. And by the time this episode airs, the episode of Buy This Watch featuring that will have already aired and it's probably going to be gone. These are still an awesome value uh, at 1200 and under. Pre Octo Finissimo, 38 millimeters integrated bracelet, gorgeous. 200 meters water resistance. This one is not uh, chronometer grade, which I found curious. The other one is, the other one I had, I uh, have. Uh, and did some episodes on when I was out in Vegas, but not this one. So uh, I'm only going to two of the ADs today, and boy, I am all over the place with which explorer to get. Last time I was in ADs on the Rolex hunt, I was offered my choice of two date jests. Great watches, not my watch. So I, I have the sense that the, the new thing is going to be the walk-ins. Walk-in, and not Christopher Walken, although he's awesome, but people who walk in asking for something, but who've been at the store enough to gain familiarity, but not on a list. It's like that. i got to figure out an algorithm for getting a watch. This is too much work. I put cologne on today, all right? I am clearly going all out. <laughs> How ridiculous. Uh-oh, we got some traffic coming up on here. Now, uh, what is going on? All right, come on over, buddy. Come on, move it. Move it or lose it, baby. Uh, so hitting up the first one first. I'm only going to the two ADs that I had the best response set with thus far. Uh, and we'll see what happens, but I just, I have the sense that one of these times, I'm just going to roll right in and get offered the watch. I don't know why that is. It's just my vibe. It's my read of the room. And I figured I would dress <laughs> I'd dress up for the occasion in case it happens. You big dummy. On the off chance I actually get it today, I'm filming on my way, going on my way to get it. If I don't get it today, this episode... <laughs> may not even air we'll see but right now I'm stuck in traffic for no reason because there's there's no reason for traffic to be going in this direction at this time of the day I'm also super excited because today is a Saturday when I'm shooting it that's usually when I shoot the ride-alongs uh, today is a cheat day uh, I put myself on a diet because there's a little too much of me a little too much of D around lately around and uh, so I'm hungry <laughs> I'm hungry for my usual junk food tacos pizza vino whatever although my diet is pretty enjoyable for breakfast one cup of Cheerios and muscle milk lunch one cup of chopped grilled chicken breast half an avocado some salsa and four crackers. And then dinner, salmon portion, lemons and caper on it, and then Brussels sprouts that I pan fry in ghee. Uh, ghee is uh, clarified butter, comes in a jar, sometimes refrigerated, sometimes not. 
absolutely fabulous for all things cookage. Most notably, I like to pan sear steaks and ghee for putting into the oven or whatnot. A little bit of uh, culinary details nobody asked for, but there you have it. That's why I'm kind of upbeat today as well. Uh, we went normal for breakfast. I'm not sure what I'm having on lunch, but I'm torn between eating an entire pizza for dinner and just going through the Taco Bell drive through asking for 12 tacos. <laughs> And tomorrow's my weigh-in. I think I should weigh in before I totally destroy all of the good work I've done through the week. Actually, I don't think I could stuff 12 tacos down my pie hole. Maybe three tacos, though. Taco Bell got rid of the beef Mexi melt in my market. I don't know if it's available in other markets, but I used to love the beef Mexi melt. I remember going through Taco Bell... And ten dollars, you can have like a Henry VIII feast. It takes fifteen dollars now. <laughs> Price is going up. That's what's up. I'm also wearing the Bulgari, uh, very purposely, obviously. But the one ADM going to, I always get into some good watch talk, and I don't think my there is is seen this. So shout out to him. Hoping you come through today, my man. Uh, and the other AD I go to, which is more jewelry centric, I know they'll recognize the name, if not the model. They don't sell the watches, but because they're jewelry centric, they'll recognize the name Bulgari. And it's, it's all positioning. Like, I was on the phone with Rose City, what up, bro, uh, this past week, and he was telling me about how when he was watch shopping, he does a lot of business with ADs. Like, way more than I do. I do virtually none. But he's heavy duty into that. He's got a family. He doesn't have time to spend all Friday night <laughs> on the internet. But my boy loves crafting those deals with ADs. Like, buy one here, trade it forever here to this one. Take two, trade it in on this one. And by his own admission, he's lost some, uh, he's lost some cashish along the way, but... Overall, he's done pretty well. And then he used to say where he would roll in with a Rolex to different ADs and he got treated differently, which is kind of funny if you think about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Paul Thorpe had a hilarious video. It was a spoof video where he was suggesting renting a Ferrari, getting a pair of fake Richard Mills, Ricardo Miles, and paying a model to walk in on your arm <laughs> to try and get a Daytona or something out of the AD, which I wrote him back and I was like, hey, I might just try that. <laughs> so if I ever do it, Paul, I'll send you the footage and you can use it. But why is that the case? Now, obviously, if you go, if I wear my usual Saturday attire, I'm not going to get any love there, but... <laughs> Maybe it's because you're auditioning to be a customer. That's what it feels like. It's an audition. And do you have the potential to be a big dollar customer for all the other blah blah stuff? That's probably where that's rooted. At least that's the only thing that makes sense to me. I don't mind playing a part, all the world's a stage. On the road again. Uh, first AD, swing and a miss. Had a blast though. Uh, no Explorer as of yet, but had some great watch talking uh, with Kyle. Kyle, always a pleasure, brother. And congratulations to you on your success. Uh, Kyle designed with Nomos a unique variant of their world timer with our city, our home city on the dial. And I don't want to give too much away this video because I'm hoping he and his bosses will let me do a video of it. So, uh, spoiler or preview? What is that? Uh, more to come on that. I hope they let me do it because that is so rad. And he had such wonderful things to say about Nomos and the experience. They did a limited run special edition. And that was so cool. Uh, my favorite Nomos is their World Timer. 
Typically, historically, I've liked it in that dark blue of theirs. A little bit lighter and brighter than the blue on this uh, Volgari. But love that watch generally. But to get one with my hometown on the dial, oh, that would be so rad. Like <laughs> how that watch was tempting me. Boy, that watch was tempting today. It just so happens that I'm I'm cruising the Explorer right now. I'm not in the market for the Nomos, though I admire it. I've just started. In truth, today was the first time I actually tried it on, so fits me great. How do you not get the version with your hometown on it, though? New York is a fabulous city. It is the epicenter of the U.S., one might say. But it's not my hometown, right? They say you should... <laughs> they say... Was it Boz Lerman, that song? The sunscreen song? Live in New York, but leave before you come, become too hard, and live in... California or LA before you become too soft something to that effect and gosh I do love the Big Apple I had a lot of fun in New York City the times I've been there but dang place is big you get lost easy great city though be cool to have a watch with my city on it though oh thinking about that piece I don't have a world timer in the collection right now Coming up on store number two, and I'm going in. I've just decided that I will indeed air this episode. This is going to be Rolex Explorer Hunt 3. I could have bought one today. Not the Explorer 1. Nah, not the Explorer 2. But I was offered the two-tone Rolex Explorer. Now, officially speaking... This watch was on a This watch was on a longer list of options. But being my only explorer, it, it's not the one for me. But I've always said, have a plan and stick to it. So but it, it affirms my point that and I'm so glad I wore my Bulgari because the, the sales lady who I've been working with there. She's like, she noticed it immediately, and they used to sell Bulgari there at the jewelers, at the, at the, in the jewelry section of the, the store. So I was right. Wearing the right watch in, coming in, dressing up a little nicer. Although I forgot my belt today. I'm surprised that these jeans didn't just uh, fall down around my uh, knees. That would have been epic. <clears throat> but I, I could have joined the Explorer Club today. It's not like I have 11.5 sitting around uh, to begin with, but why did I think that watch was 9,500 and the regular Explorer is 6,500? Did the price hike already go into effect? Is it the price of gold? <clears throat> because if she'd have come back at 9,500, I would have thought. Ten, 10 more seconds before saying thank you, but not for me. Uh, that is not an 11.5 watch in my book. Although, my gut, my buyer, the buyer in me is like, in two years when they cancel that, it's going to be 23 grand. Because there's no way that that watch is going to stay in the lineup long term. It's just not. Uh, I don't know who's buying them now. There was speculation that the whole reason they resized downwards to 36 with a significant taper on the Explorer was to open the market to cool girls, cool chicks. I don't know that that's true. Uh, I mean, the color, the, the vast colored OPs are uh, certainly unisex, but... That's certainly opened the market for women who don't wear want to wear itty bitty 33 millimeter watches, right? If I was a girl, I wouldn't wear those things. I can't. It reminds me of my mother's watches. I can't read the time on that without a microscope. 
my allergies are crushing me today. Uh, I'm going home and I'm going to begin gorging myself on fun food for my cheat day. All right, we're coming along, getting closer every time. I can feel it coming. I can feel it coming. Hope you are enjoying your day wherever you are in the world. And uh, thanks for coming along on this journey through this wonderful hobby of ours, yours and mine. All right, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.